So just to finish up, you see what's happening? The process is rigged. This whole election is being rigged. These lies spread by the media without witnesses, without backup or anything else, are poisoning the minds of the electorate. No witnesses, no backup, no anything else. And I'm telling you, I have many top professionals. Don't talk about this, Donald. Nobody believes. I said, maybe some do believe it. You have to talk about it. When somebody makes, am I right? When somebody makes an accusation that you did something and you weren't there, you, don't, you never saw this person before. It's a lie, total lie. It's fabrication. Sometimes they do it for fame. Maybe they get money. Who knows? The Clinton campaign is pushing it. The New York Times did a story on somebody where it was totally false. They knew it was totally false. We gave them the information. They wrote a whole big page about somebody where they were sending me emails and letters and everything. And then you realize it was a one-way send, by the way. There was nothing sent back. And you realize it was a totally phony deal. They did a whole big story on it. They didn't mention all of the emails. They didn't mention everything coming my way. And others looked at it. And as bad as they were, as soon as they saw this stuff that was sent, they immediately, immediately uh, decided not to do this. The New York Times did a story on it. They read these stories, and people might not know how untrue they are. It's really a disgrace. I've been saying this for a long time. The whole thing we've been going through, and I hate to say it, but the whole thing we're going through, Bernie Sanders, it was a rigged deal. The whole thing is one big fix. It's one big fix. It's one big ugly lie. It's one big fix. The press can't write the kind of things they write, which are lies, lies, lies. The stories are fabrications and false. And the only thing I say is hopefully, hopefully, our patriotic movement will overcome this terrible deception. Hopefully our great movement, and there's never been anything like this in the United States, and the only way they figure they can slow it down is to come up with people that are willing to say, oh, I was with Donald Trump in 1980. I was sitting with him on an airplane. And he went after me on the plane. Yeah, I'm going to go after. Believe me, she would not be my first choice, that I can tell you. Man. You don't know. That would not be my first choice.